Hello, everybody. I'm Dr. Himanshu Mathur, and I've come here again for you people uh, with a new topic today. Uh, it's a little different topic. It's pertaining more to the uh, human anatomy system and the probably the first uh, neural plexus that we talk about in the anatomy, that is the brachial plexus. Yes. So uh, today, uh, what even when we were students, we uh, found that brachial plex is a little difficult to memorize and a little difficult to remember and it's very integral part of anatomy and it is being asked in every probably every uh, examination right so it is quite necessary uh, to remember brachial plexus so let us try today to uh, devise a few techniques to take out some few techniques to remember the brachial plexus very easily right Tell you. Let us see that how we can remember the brachial plexus easily. I'll try to share a whiteboard with you people here today and we will try to draw a brachial plexus. All right. Okay. So for this brachial plexus, I'll be telling you a small story, right? Remember this story that I'll be telling it to you. Okay. And let me tell you one important thing. It's a love story that I'll be telling it to you, right? So the location of this story is called R T D C. Okay, now R T D C is a abbreviation for Rajasthan Transfer Development Corporation. But here we are not talking about that R T D C. Definitely, we are talking about root. We are talking about trunk. We are talking about division, and we are talking about Cord, right. So the location of uh, this uh, love story is root trunk division cord R T C C. Remember that. Okay. You can. Okay. If you can. Uh, if you want to memorize it more efficiently, keep drawing it with me. That's what. Uh, how I'm. I'm progressing it. Please keep going with that. Now we let us go on to the characters of this story. So there are uh, probably four characters in this story. Okay. So one is the girl, one is the boy, one is the mediator friend, and one is the girl's dad. Okay. So the girl is a very rich girl. Okay. It's she is from the higher social economic status. Okay. So the basic location in the cervical spine comes to be C5, C6, C7, C8, and C1. Okay. Now I told you that the girl is from a higher socioeconomic status, so we'll give you, we'll give the girl the two first segments. Okay, the first two segments belongs to the girl. Okay, so this one is the girl, and the boy is relatively uh, from a lower socioeconomic status, right? So we'll give them last two, the lower two segments. Okay, so. C5, C6 depicts the girl. C8, T1 depicts the boy. Okay. And the C1 till here is your mediator friend. Okay. Now, the girl and the boy met in the college and they were a little shy to interact. So, what they did was they communicated through the friend. So, what happened was the boy gave a letter to the friend. The girl gave the letter to the friend. Okay, such that the uh, friend can give it to their each counterparts, but the friend was a clever one. Okay, and what happened was the friend uh, kept the letters with him and he gave his own letter to the girl. Right, let me change the color of it. Okay, so the friend gave his own letter to the girl. So we have another dimension which is crossing C7 and which is approaching the uh, division of the C5, C6 segment. Okay. So what happened was the girl denied to this. Okay. The girl refused this. So the C7 mediator got angry and informed everything to his father. Okay. The girl's father. Right. So the girl father will come into the action from here. Okay, so from here, it is the girl's father who's coming into the action, right? Okay, so we have ended till chords and this came directly over here. All right, so the name of the girl was Lela. 
the name of the boy was majnu and he was papa okay so l stands for lateral cord p stands for posterior cord and m for majnu stands for medial cord okay now let us come on to the branches so lela was quite depressed after all this happened and the uh, restrictions by the family so she went into the bathroom and write wrote on the wall of the bathroom lela loves majnu okay so this becomes lateral branch of median nerve this becomes lateral pectoral nerve and this becomes musculo cutaneous nerve okay lela loves majnu llm okay so that becomes easy now what happened was in the whole contest of the girl and the boy papa emerged as a winner okay so he was the winner so the uh, star of the whole story was the papa right so the mnemonic that comes here is s t a r so this becomes your subscapular nerve this becomes your thoraco dorsal nerve this becomes your axillary nerve and this becomes your radial nerve okay now after all that majnu was quite depressed and he went back to his home to his mom to his mama right so the branches emerging from the medial cord is m u m m m bonus m okay <clears throat> so the first one is the so earlier we learned about the lateral branch of the median nerve and lateral pectoral nerve so this becomes your medial branch of median nerve u stands for ulnar nerve m stands for medial pectoral nerve m stands for medial cutaneous nerve c u it is c u okay just a second so the next nerve that is coming to us is the <clears throat> okay so that is wait okay the color is changed wait so that becomes the medial cutaneous nerve of arm and the last one becomes your medial cutaneous nerve of forearm all right so 
this is how you can easily very easily draw a brachial plexus very simplified in very few seconds right now we have few more nerves that is coming out for the uh, brachial plexus and so what happens was again the majnu got nostalgic he was remembering the uh, uh, previous days with lela right so uh, the days when he used to go in the streets of lela and lela was sitting on the uh, window combing her hair right so there's a popular song in india and hindi so ghar se nikalte hi kuch dur chalte hi raste mein hai uska ghar aur kal subah dekha to baal banati ho khidki mein aayi nazar to humne uske baal bana diye so we drew the hair the so here's the lela who's combing her hair right and one important thing about lela's hair was lela had long hairs what kind of hairs long hair which came till the upper back of lela right so upper back region is the thoracic region right so this become long thoracic nerve all right so easy now there are a few more nerves that emerges from this area uh, i'll change the color of my pen before i start okay so it is a spot from where it emerges c5 c6 okay so one nerve is s the other nerve is also s okay so that is one is suprascapular nerve the other one is nerve to subclavius okay there is one more nerve that comes out from the roots of c5 c6 that is dorsal scapular nerve okay this so that is dorsal scapular nerve okay so this becomes very easy now let us see how many nerves which are emerging out from the brachial plexus okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 wait right. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So technically, we memorized sixteen nerves in last say ten minutes, right? So uh, brachial plexus is very easy to remember, very easy to memorize. This one was basically for those people who are in their BPT first years; they are having difficulty to memorize, and also for those people who are. uh practicing it for any competitive exam in physiotherapy or anatomy or anything like that so if you have problems while memorizing it don't take it technically that i must have been showing some technical things into it it is just to memorize this particular thing so there were a few queries uh which were coming out and this is a result of the query only that i have uh made a video on how to memorize brachial plexus very easily in say 10 minutes so we have memorized 16 nerves in the last 10 minutes right so thank you so much for today in the next session i'll be talking about the injuries to the brachial nerve as well right so we'll be talking about what are the pre ganglionic lesions what are the post ganglionic lesions what are the differences between the herb palsy clump case palsy i'll soon be coming up with such a video as well okay what are the basic uh, symptoms of uh, this what are the deformities associated with it and what are the common splints which are used for the uh, management of such injury so thank you so much for staying with us uh, it was really wonderful having you people here uh, please stay tuned please like uh, and share and subscribe our channel more and more thank you so much for today i'll be stop sharing uh, this thing and rather i'll be stopping with the video so thank you so much please like share and subscribe okay one more important thing you can also join with our uh, two modules two uh, educational online education programs which are going on 
uh, one is with the target ortho that is for competitive exams for the jobs for the mpt entrance exam you can please join it and the other one we have started with jaipur rehab jaipur rehab is launched has launched uh, three modules by now we are uh, all set to launch two more mo modules regarding biomechanics and anatomy regarding neurology regarding the orthopedics and sports approaches now we are all set to launch with the cardiopulmonary approaches and the radiological advancement also and soon we have plans to launch modules for research methodology and biostatistics as well right so stay tuned with us please join us please subscribe us on whatsapp uh, on uh, i'm sorry uh, youtube and do subscribe us uh, on jaipur rehab and target also also thank you so much i'll uh, catch you soon again with something new something interesting and something spicy thank you thanks a lot